the ancient Antipode, let us come to God's presence with confidence, because he will find mercy and strength when we need it from him. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We'll ask to remember Maya Morris and her family in the Mass intention in our prayers this day. Also, we remember Kian, and we remember all those who are affected by the coronavirus. Gathering as God's holy people, sharing in these sacred mysteries, we ask our Father's forgiveness now for our failures. I confess to all my God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. So let us pray. May the Spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with these spiritual gifts that he may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to do your will. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since the tribune wanted to know what precise charges the Jews were bringing against Paul. He freed him and gave him orders for the meeting of the chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin. Then he brought Paul down and stood him in front of him. Now Paul was well aware that one section was made up of Sadducees and the other of Pharisees. So he called out to the Sanhedrin, Brothers, I am a Pharisee. I am the son of a Pharisee. It is for an hour of the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial. As soon as he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was split between two parties. For the Sadducees say there is neither resurrection, nor angels, nor spirit, while the Pharisees accept all three. The shouting grew louder, and some of the scribes and the Pharisees' party stood up and protested strongly, we find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit has spoken to you, or an angel. Feeling was running high, and the tribune was afraid that they would tear Paul to pieces, and so he ordered his troops to go down and to haul him out and bring him into the fortress. Next night, the Lord appeared to him and said, Courage. You have borne witness from the end of Jerusalem. Now you must do the same in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, Lord, Lord I, I take, take refuge, refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my God. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul in the day, nor let your beloved know decay. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Uh, show me again the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. 
the gospel I preach. Hallelujah, hallelujah. With me and them and you and me, may we be so completely one that the world will realize it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us, as you are in me and I am in you, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, with me in them and you in me. May they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me, and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those who have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love with which you love me may be in them, so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray for all those of us who are prayers. We pray especially for those who are ill and suffering as a result of the coronavirus. We pray for those who care for them, for all those who work in our care homes in the NHS. We pray especially for our children and young people. We ask of Mary, the Mother of God, in this month of May to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through the goodness we receive this bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we receive this wine of you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, we become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name. For our burden of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept the oblation of his spiritual sacrifice. Make us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. But after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make for us sharers of his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exulting your praises, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer is number two. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy then for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread and given you thanks for it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which we given up for you. A similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us, of the world, oh, by, by your cross and resurrection, you have, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. George, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fall fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the blessed Joseph of Spouse, your blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. So the same as command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look now on our sins, from the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the risen and ascended Lord Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who comes to take away the sins of our world. And bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
But so let us pray. If the mysteries that we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instructions they bring, and so restore us to participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So let us pray for relief from this coronavirus. Heavenly Father, who sent the ten plagues to free his children, and protected those children by the blood of the Lamb, bless all those now affected by the coronavirus. Encourage and strengthen those who seek a cure. Protect all who care or work in the NHS, care homes, guard our streets, or keep our society running. Send your holy angels to guard us and bring us safely through this time of trial. And may your holy mother Mary care for us, as she did for the sick child Jesus. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Lord, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Luke the Physician, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. O Almighty God, who in thine infinite goodness has sent thy only begotten Son into this world to open once more the gates of heaven and to teach us how to know, love, and serve thee, have mercy on thy people who dwell in Wales. Grant to them the precious gift of faith and unite them in the one true Church founded by the divine Son, that acknowledging her authority and obeying her voice, they may serve thee, love thee, and worship thee as thou desirest in this world and obtain for themselves everlasting happiness in the world to come. Do the same, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help the Christians. Pray for Wales. Saint David. Pray for Wales. Saint Winifred. Pray for Wales. Anyway, many thanks. Please keep in your prayers, particularly over the next couple of days, um, where we, um, ourselves, most certainly, and our politicians, as they decide to sort of ease some areas of the, the, uh, the lockdown there. And hopefully, God willing, we'll have an opportunity for at least a bit of private prayer ourselves in our churches. Although, of course, that will be under certain restrictions and certain conditions. We understand that. But as I say, do keep it in your prayers. And be joyful. Keep your faith. As Paul witnessed in Jerusalem and finally in Rome, so we witness here in our parishes, in our homes, to the risen Lord Jesus.